Hello everybody, this is Zach Bartle from Bowling RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, making another video for you guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2024 Flagstaff 26 RKBS. Uh, but before we get to that guys, I want to talk a little bit about our open house coming up. Uh, take you a walk around our front sales floor here uh, where the shop's going to, or the open house is going to start. Uh, we do have three other shops in the back that's going to have these campers as well. Uh, open house is going to go from February 9th to February 17th. Uh, 8 30 a.m. to 7 p.m. There's going to be free lunch, fun, free parking. Uh, we'll have over seven or over 65 to 70 RVs on the inside, uh, and exclusive pricing on uh, a lot of the campers that you're going to see in here, if not all of them. All right, let's get our way back here to the camper we're doing a video on today. A lot of cool new product in here, a lot of new floor plans, uh, a lot of our new Flagstaff units that we just got in. Um, it's going to be a really good time. Come on down, just take a look, get some free lunch, uh, chat with some of the salesmen, uh, and uh, maybe leave in a new RV if that's what you're interested in. All right, so let's take a look at our Flagstaff 26 RKBS. First thing you're going to see around the outside here, nice big 21 foot awning, covers both doors. As I mentioned in videos before, the arms do not sit behind the door here, so you ain't got to worry about keeping it halfway open and damaging your arms. Uh, kind of peace of mind there. Nice solid steps on both entrances. Good year endurance tires, two on this side, two on the other. Outside shower. Nice. Big outside kitchen here with a little bit of storage underneath. Well, let's see if we can get that fridge open. All right, a little bit of satellite hookup here. If you want to hook up a TV out here. Outside speakers as well, along with that nice LED light strip along the awning up top. We're not gonna be able to get fully around this today, guys, because we have so much, so many units here in the front. Uh, but I'll get as much as I can for you. Nice big windshield or uh, front cap window. Two 30 pound propane tanks, automatic tongue jack, a spot for two batteries, automatic uh, stabilizing system. Kind of seen here, two big slides. There's one right here. And one right down there a little bit more, along with some nice storage. Let's see if we can get under here a little bit more. We do have uh, black water flushes down here, or uh, your drains. Along with a little bit of a sneak peek here at the slide underneath. Along with the rock guard here in the front. See what we got here on the back. Nice spare ladder to your top there. It is prepped for backup cam, along with the spot to hold your sewer drain here. All right, let's take a look inside here. I always like to show the door here. It shows a lot of the features. Uh, if you guys want to pause here, maybe zoom in on it. Um, Kind of shows you what the construction is, just standard features and safety standards. All right, first step inside. Right off the bat, nice rear kitchen here. Plenty of counter space. Three burner stove, nice LEDs. Nice big oven there. There's a nice big refrigerator. Along with your microwave above the stove. A little bit of storage. Nice big sink here. You got these two you can hold, put over the sink there if you're not using it. it. Creates a little bit more counter space. Nice storage underneath along with some access. If uh, you need to get to it, you ain't tearing everything apart. Let's pan over a little bit. Nice theater seating here. Air reclining. Reading lights over both with storage above both as well. We have a nice dinette bed here. 
right next to a big open window. Plenty of lighting in here too. I mean, there's not a there's not a dark spot in this entire camper, uh, which is nice. Uh, and they each have little buttons on them so you can turn which ones you want on and off. If you like it a little darker near your entertainment system. Nice big drawers underneath the dinette here. This is going to be a two AC unit, which is going to make it a 50 amp service. Take a look in the bathroom. Nice big shower. Lots of counter space for soaps or hand, hand soaps, whatever you might need. Nice medicine cabinet. Along with a nice little sky roof in the shower, along with your ventilation system in here. Come back over here towards our entertainment system. Nice big TV here, right across from the seat, which I'm sitting in right now. Perfect, uh, perfect view of the TV. Ambiance fireplace does put out regular heat as well. You can set it, you can time it a certain amount of time. Uh, you can turn the heat up, uh, turn it off completely, just if, in case you just want the fire going. Uh, nice sound bar here underneath the TV. And of course, Massive storage above this TV here. I mean that I I can't even reach the back with my arm All right, take a look at this bedroom Nice big queen bed plenty of access each side of it No rolling over each other to get out of bed if you got to use the bathroom in the middle of the night Nice reading lights above both as well along with that storage right above There's this big front cap that I showed you guys, nice big window. It does have a blackout curtain for it, which is nice. Plenty of plug-ins for phones, accessories. Nice big wardrobe closet. And hang anything you need to hang up there. Along with some drawers underneath. They're also just as big. Um, there is ducted heat and AC in here, uh, so it's not just going to blow out just from the AC. We have plenty of vents up top and vents down below to kind of get that circulation going so that the heat's not just sitting in one spot. Again guys, it's been Zach Bartle at Bowling RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, or subscribe for it. Uh, and again, the show hours and days are going to be February 9th to February 17th. 8.30 to 7 p.m. Stop by just to chat and get some free food. Uh, we'll be here all day. Excited for you guys to show up.